What's up folks, welcome back to the Auto Loons channel and we are playing some more Gran Turismo Sport. Today's concept car, Group X car, is a Mitsubishi and this is it. Yes, it looks more like an SUV than a hatchback, but that's kind of the direction the company is taking recently with their cars, even if they're concept cars or performance cars. But this one, this particular one, doesn't look that bad. Now, this is, has a very long name, so pay attention. It's the Mitsubishi Concept XR PHEV Evolution Vision Gran Turismo. That's a long name. We're just going to call it the Concept XR FEV Evo VGT. Now, as the name suggests, this is an evolution of the original concept, which was the XR PHEV, which was shown at the 2013 Tokyo Motor Show. Taking its basic design cues from the same car, Mitsubishi and the design team have developed this version for Gran Turismo Sport and it is a concept and most likely we won't get a cockpit view of this car either but what we do have a little more details about the dimensions and the powertrain now PHEV in the Mitsubishi product portfolio basically stands for plug-in hybrid vehicle plug-in hybrid electric vehicle pardon so PHEV is for that so what we do know is that this is a hybrid uh, we don't know exactly what kind of engine it is, but it is a 3-liter unit, maybe turbocharged as well, because the power output is a massive 502 brake horsepower. But what's even more nuts is the torque figure this hybrid concept car has. 1,015 newton meters of torque. That's right. This thing, which has a weight of 1350, just 1,350 kilograms, has 502 brake horsepower, four wheel drive, has over a thousand newton meters of twist, thanks to its electric hybrid powertrain. It uses an eight speed DCT dual clutch transmission gearbox to put to transfer all that power through all its four wheels, and it's not that big a car either. At measuring in just 4.4 meters in length, it's about the size of your average uh, family hatchback. So yeah, this could be an SUV esque hot hatchback if they were ever to make a pr production version but I don't think they will just look at how wide it is it's about 2.2 meters wide look at how far out the, the wheels are from the main body and th just how fat those wheel arches are around those 20 inch diamond cut alloys aerodynamics game is strong too with this car if you take a look at its massive diffuser and very very strong wing game but there's more aerodynamic elements at the front too with the air vents and the diffuser, uh, pardon me, the air scoops and the front splitter and the front spoiler. It is an SUV styled, I mean, the, you know, the front grille is basically a representation of what Mitsubishi has in mind for its next generation of SUVs. But on this particular design, it fits very, very well. Um, for more recent relevance, they did showcase a new concept at the 2017 Tokyo Motor Show, which was a rebranding of the Evo brand sorry a relaunch of the Evo brand but as an SUV on its own the SUV is not a bad thing to look at at all but they have upset quite a few petrol head and fan following by giving the Evo branding to an SUV line so let's see how that plays out for them Mitsubishi would also have used uh, carbon fiber reinforced plastic or CFRP uh, for keeping it as lightweight as it is at just 30 kilograms with that much tech on board especially considering how heavy the uh, batteries tend to be before these kind of uh, hybrid supercars that's an impressive uh, weight they've accomplished with something that technically would have two proper seats and some decent uh, decent comfort features as well now let's take this car onto a track and see how it is to drive so we're gonna head over to uh, one of the Japanese circuits probably the Kyoto business park driving circuit and see what this thing is like so here we go all right so we are going to be driving it at the kyoto driving park yamagiva layout which offers a little more distance to cover let's get to it now, once again we are driving in the manual transmission to see just how far we can push this car and as i told you we will not we probably won't be getting a look at the cockpit view because all we have options for here are dash front bumper dash and normal racing gamer kind of mode so no cockpit view on this car unfortunately but let's just see how this thing drives Once 
first impression, the way the car sits so wide on the track gives it a decent amount of grip. Four wheel drive also helps. Uh, while doing manual gear shifts, one of the, uh, one of the things is how quickly it goes through the first four gears. Obviously, in Gran Turismo Sport, you can adjust the gearing for acceleration or for top speed. But by default, I mean the way. I mean, yes, it has eight gears, but with 500 brake horsepower. I didn't expect it to go through the first four gears that quickly. In terms of, you know, just the engine sound, obviously it's a hybrid supercar kind of technology with just a 3-liter three, three engine. It has enough electric power added to it. But with just a 3-liter engine, it has enough electric power added to it so that it can do, it can produce 502 brake horsepower and over 1,000 newtons of torque. So this is the you know, these are the wonders of turbocharging and hybrid technology, but it doesn't sound as good as a naturally aspirated V8. Right now, let's do a quick acceleration test, and you will see what I meant about just how quickly this thing goes through the first set of gears. And three, two, one, go. what I mean but the brakes work really well too and you know you're able to sh get rid of that speed just as efficiently and you can brake really really hard with this thing but also because it has so much grip you can really throw it in the fast corners without having to worry about anything at all. Cue the cinematic replay of driving the Mitsubishi Concept XR PHEV Evolution VGT around the Kyoto driving Kyoto Driving Park. it folks it's the Mitsubishi concept the XR PHEV Evolution VGT uh, and uh, it's, an, it's a different kind of concept from the ones you've covered so far but it's impressive with its performance uh, and uh, you know it's always fun to see something new uh, you know which you don't expect it to be fun and it turns out to be it looks amazing first of all I mean like it would be so much fun to see Mitsubishi back on the main a uh, competitive scene of maybe rally or even uh, touring car racing but yeah for now the concerts will be get and as part of the and we'll have to play it in the game
So that's all for this episode, folks. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for what you would like to see next, and visit autoloons.com, link in the description for more automotive content. Cheers!